Hi and welcome to my channel. Thanks for stopping by today. I'd love to share with you many things that I made in the past couple months, but that just didn't happen. <laughs> they don't exist. I had so much drama in my sewing room. Either I couldn't find the pattern that was in my stash or I couldn't find the fabric that I already owned or I just had problems working the muslin out to be able to fit me properly. I don't know what was going on. But I did manage to pull out just a very few uh, project finishes over the past couple months and I would love to share them with you. So oh, let's get into it. Okay, so the very first thing I want to show you is this adorable little shirt. Um, this is from Bootstrap Patterns. I don't know how it's going to show up for some reason. I'm showing blue today. This is a white top. It is crisp white. My white balance must be way off. I might have to redo this whole video. Um, but this is from Bootstrap Patterns. Very easy to put together. Um, it's a custom fit online company. You go in, you plug in the, uh, your measurements your actual measurements, you pick out the design of the top or the dress or the pop or the pants or whatever and within a half an hour, boom, in your email you have a PDF pattern in your size. So this is really cute. The front is completely um, gathered. I gathered it. I think you were supposed to pleat it. I don't have time for all those pleats. So I just gathered the front. It's got a ruffle on the front and back, a little tie at the shoulder. It is sleeveless. So I thought that it was adorable. Um, I will have a link in the description box below. You've got to check out this company if you haven't already. If you've already used bootstrap patterns, please put a comment in the bottom and let me know um, what pattern that you used and if you loved it, if you've got pictures that you can link to. I am so inspired. I want to make like everything on that site. So I'd love to see what you have. So drop me a, drop me a message. Okay, so... To go with that top, I was uh, I picked out this new look 6130. If you saw in my last video, um, I had posted this fabric on Instagram along with some others and said, "Hey, help me out! What should I make?" And there were two, uh, well, there was loads of people who gave me um, suggestions. So thank you if you were one of those people. Um, but I had a couple suggestions to make it into cropped pants. I already had this pattern. I already knew that I liked the pants part because I'd made it into shorts. Um, this pattern, I think I did a straight size 14. I'll have a link in the description just in case I'm wrong. And the only alteration I needed to make was to take maybe two or three inches off of the length. That's it. I'm 5'9". So um, if you are my build and my height, perhaps that will help you to figure out what pattern. I don't have any curves. So if you have loads of curves, this might not be the pattern for you or you might already be very practiced in altering uh, pants patterns to fit your body shape. And if that's the case, more power to you because altering pants is a test of uh, a lot of things. <laughs> Um, so pants, pants fitting is just crazy sometimes if the pattern doesn't already fit you. So I'm loving the new look, um, pants patterns because they generally fit me out of the package with little alteration. In this case, just the length. So to go with this very adorable bootstrap pattern top, I made a pair of cropped pants. I ran out of the pink, so I did have to do a white waistband. Very easy. It just has a pleats in the front and an invisible zip on the side. Super easy. Don't know how to hold pants up, but there you go for some cropped pants. I'll put some pictures at the end, or you can visit my blog or Instagram. I'll have all those linked down below, and you can check out actual pictures of me in this stuff. I hate doing pictures, <laughs> but sewing, sewing the garments is the part that I think is the most fun. So after I got done with that, I was like, yay, if you did see my last video, I was all supposed to make some shoes that didn't happen. I was supposed to make a beach cover up that did not happen. I was supposed to make a backpack that did not happen. <laughs> and 
and now it's winter time so it's not going to happen. I will put that on next year's list of things to do. So the patterns aren't going anywhere, the fabric's not going anywhere, I can do it later. Um, the next project I wanted to make was with a pair of brown linen. Um, I wanted to do cropped pants again using the same pattern and I could not find my brown linen for the life of me. It took me weeks to find this. Um, and I'd already gone through loads of other projects that did not work out. Um, but then finally, yay, I found my brown linen and I was able to make a second pair of cropped pants. Same exact pattern. I'd already done the muslin, so I'd already re, you know, redrawn a whole pattern that will fit me perfectly. So here is the second pair of, uh, of cropped pants that I made. And in the process of looking for that brown linen, that I could not find forever, I came across this fabric that I don't know what the fabric content is. I don't know where I got it, but it is a really cute olive green. I don't know if it's showing up. Like I said, my white balance seems to be off today. Um, and I said, you know what, if I ever get these brown linen pants done and this other outfit that was supposed to happen, I'm totally making this fabric into another pair of crop pants. Ta-da! I have a third pair of crop pants, and I'm not joking. This should be under one of those uh, one-hour sewing pattern or, you know, whatever categories because really the pants in this, once you have the pattern that fits you, it's, you know, inseam, outside seam, two little darts in the back and an invisible zip, hem in the bottom, putting a waistband on or just a facing around the waistband and you're done. Even with hand stitching all of, uh, I flat fell all my, my seams, um, it took me like two days and that's hand stitching a lot, you know, in the finishing with the waistband and the hem at the bottom. But if you do everything on machine, this should be like a one hour project, a one evening project, no big deal, fly through. Um, but now it's time to talk about what I'm going to be doing in the fall because summer's over. Like I'm not going to be able to wear these crop pants where I live because we generally get like five foot of snow and it starts snowing in October. So it is seriously time for me to start looking to my fall and winter wardrobe. Um, and the very first thing on my fall winter wardrobe is that couture Chanel inspired blazer that I did not finish at Easter time. And if you don't have any idea what I'm talking about, ta -da! this pattern right here and this pattern right here and this fabric right here this is a silk tweed I don't know it has, I don't think the lights showing up very well on this it is white and kind of a denim blue and a sort of uh, pastel -y, greenish yellowish color but this is a gorgeous silk tweed in person I hope it's showing up on camera and these Vogue patterns I picked out. I thought, oh, it can't be too hard. <laughs> I looked in the package. It's like 108 steps. And <laughs> I'm going, okay, this is not a one week or two week project. This is like a month or two month or three month project. And at Easter time, I said that I was going to put this away and uh, work on it so that it would be done for November. I'm hoping to wear it for Thanksgiving. And I promptly put it away and hadn't taken it back out of my project box until just now. So um, I like the longer sleeves on this one, but I like that this one has no collar. Now I have no idea if I want to use uh, any of the pocket details. I haven't actually looked at any of those. So this is the first thing on my to-do list. I really think that if I just take you know, a little time every day, maybe do one step or one part of a step, you know, like a 30 minute a day sewing challenge with myself, then I could totally get this done by the end of November. That should be a pretty good, a pretty good focus. Um, another project that I could get done way sooner is a, um, let me get it out. I started this project, it's in my project hub, if you don't know what I'm, I'm grabbing for, I keep my projects 
have these little tubs. In there is the thread that I'm using. Sometimes I keep receipts for things in here. Of course, the project itself, along with fabrics. This is really dusty. But this is a beautiful um, like navy blue corduroy that I picked up years and years ago. I was going to make my boys some dress pants with them. Didn't happen. They outgrew the amount of fabric that I got. So I decided I was going to do a jacket out of it. I figured it would be really good. I figured it would be really good to... Um, to wear whenever we go to like sporting events. My kids are in sports, like outside sports, like uh, fall soccer and fall baseball. So I can wear this with jeans and sneakers and be good. And what I wanna do is this one right here. Um, I don't care for the sleeves, so just regular straight sleeves. Um, but that, that bodice of that jacket right there is the one I'm looking at. So this is Simplicity 2508. And that, seriously, I think I just needed a lining for it, and it was one of those things I worked on it and worked on it, and it got to the end of the season, and I started needing to work on, like, summer stuff, and said, yeah, I don't need a jacket right now, so I put this away in my handy-dandy little tub. Another jacket that I could easily pick up and start working on again is uh, made from Butterick B5685, and it is this the shorter version right here. Uh, I don't remember anything about this project actually because I started it several years ago. Here's the fabric. Mm, my white balance is way off. It is a cream with a red, uh, a red stripe that runs through it and this is tropical weight wool um, that I picked up. I also want to do some um, wide leg, like high-waisted, flared slacks out of this. I got yards and yards and yards of this. And unfortunately, I've not made anything out of it yet. A super easy make I could do with this would be my all-time go-to pencil skirt. And I'll link that because I don't know the, the number offhand. But I could do that. Loads of things I could do. I've got a stack of unfinished projects back there. Honestly, I'm not really feeling inspired to make any of these things, although the Chanel Inspire jacket has to be made. I can't just wait till November and say, oh yeah, I'm going to make that this week. No, not happening. So, the thing that I'm, I have to work on that, but the thing that I'm actually really, really excited to start working on is Christmas ornaments. I'm not joking. It's September. I should not be thinking about Christmas yet. Oh well, my plan is to pull out all of the scraps of the projects that I made for this year and do really cute um, Christmas package toppers, you know, the little ornaments that you make out of fabric that you just put on under the bow or whatever uh, for just a little ornament for on the uh, Christmas packages. There is some gorgeous silk back there that I used early in the year for my red dress. Uh, I think last year, a couple years ago, I made a gold silk dress for Living History, and I've got some leftover of that that would make gorgeous Christmas ornaments. Um, there's just loads of fabric back there, and uh, I'm actually looking at some of it going, hmm, I could do this for Easter. That's not till next year, so can't get ahead of myself that much, but maybe. So... If you have stayed with me this long in this video, thank you so much. And uh, do leave a comment down below telling me what are your plans to sew for this fall because I'm really uninspired. Maybe jeans. Everybody's making jeans. Like, I don't know what I'm going to do. But I need to stay busy because winter blues are right around the corner where I live. And I've got to stay motivated, stay doing something. So... Uh, I would love to hear from you, and thanks for watching. Until next time, happy stitching!